hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys a very unique strategy a very powerful volatility index strategy that you can use to grow your small account okay so without wasting much of our time i'm going to quickly share with you guys the indicator setup and then i'll be explaining how the strategy works okay so you are going to first of all click on this f icon here after clicking on that we add the moving average as our first indicator here. All right, so you search for your moving average. Now you can see these are the properties for this one. The period is 90, the shift is zero, method is exponential, apply to its close. All right, now on the levels we have, um, for the level, you don't have to do anything. All right, time frame, all time frame. The style you make it color yellow, right? You make it um you, you make it three pixel, right? After that you click on done and we are done with the moving average setup. The next indicator we have here is the average directional movement index. Alright, so you will be clicking on this plus icon and then you search for your average directional movement index. So these are the properties for the average directional movement index the period is 100 level you leave it as it is time frame all time frame now the style you make it um you make the plus di green the minus di red and you click on done that's the setting for that one the next indicator we have here is relative strength index which we are going to be using for our levels all right so you are going to be clicking on this plus icon again right then you search for your relative strength index so these are the properties for the relative strength index as you all know period is one apply to its close the level we have 85 and 15 you make the color for the style red three pixel you click on done time frame all time frame right now the style here you make it the color of your background i'm using a white background right now so i'll make it white you take it to the last picture which is one and you click on done all right you are done with the setup for the relative strength index now the next indicator we have here is the macd so you are going to be clicking on this plus icon all right the indicator window two plus icon here for you to add the macd under the relative strength index all right so these are the properties for the MACD. The first EMA is 15, slow EMA is 29, MACD SMA is 9, um, sorry, is 12. They apply to, we have close. The level, you leave it as it is, time frame, all time frame. The style, you make it color. You make the main color green. The signal, you make it color red, and you click on done. Right, we are done with the MACD. The next, and the last indicator we have here is the moving average so you are going to be clicking on this plus icon again then you search for your moving average All right so the period you make it one shift is zero method is exponential apply to its previous indicators that are second to the last All right then the level you leave it as it is time frame all time frame the style you make it color yellow or any other color of your choice pixel you make it three and you click on done so once you have done everything correctly as i've said you are going to have something like this on your chart right now before i explain how the strategy work i want to quickly remind you guys about my vip boom and crash strategy which i'm giving out all right so if you want the strategy you check the description of this video you are going to see my whatsapp contact there do make sure to message me all right now this is a very powerful strategy the boom and crash strategy you can use that strategy to grow as little as a five dollar account okay so if you have been blowing your account you are struggling to grow your account all right this strategy is for you all right so if you want it you check the description and you get my whatsapp contact message me and we'll discuss on how you get the strategy all right and i'll be showing you everything you need to become profitable with that strategy all right so that is that for that all right now back to this strategy now okay so this one too is also a powerful strategy all right make sure you listen and listen very carefully to everything i'll be saying now 
the first condition for this strategy before you take an entry you need to check this indicator window too all right now this indicator or i should just change this thing so that it will be step by step right let me just move this all right now it's more better like this okay so um the first condition is that you want to see this yellow and red line at the overbought level right so once it's at the overbought level you want to see the yellow line crossing below the red right now once you see this crossing below that's the first condition it doesn't mean you should take a sell or go into the market right now you check this indicator window two here now you see this green line all right it's a very important line very very important now you don't want to take any sell entry now this first one this first condition is a sign that this is a sell signal like it's trying to tell you that price is about to sell right now once you see the signal there you just keep that in mind that price is about to sell now you keep it at your mind that price is about to sell now you see this green line is going to first of all give you an ultimate signal which is going to be a sell signal also now you see around this area it now crossed below the red now this is a signal it crossed below the red right now it when it crossed like this, it doesn't mean that it's going to start selling no all right now this is the final confirmation before you go in for your sale now on the main chart on the main chart once the signal is given like that you are going to see that price will break below this area here right it's going to break below and then after the break below it's going to like go back all right there's always a retest it's going to go back for a retest it will go back for a retest all right now let me see where the 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 the, the blue the green cross below is around this area right okay so now immediately it crossed below that area all right immediately it cross and then go back for a retest you are going to mark that area you mark it now when it comes back to break below again when it breaks below that structure you mark all right that is where you take your entry you wait for that particular candlestick that will break below it so once the, can the candlestick breaks below it you take your entry immediately right you take your entry immediately from this candlestick here and your stop loss is going to be above that structure all right your stop loss is going to be above this area here all right you give space so that whenever price is going against you it would like take time all right it will not just go and hit your stop loss immediately right so you need you need to give price a breathing space all right so your stop loss is going to be around this area and then you hold all right now you are going to hold till you see this red line here this signal line you want to see you want to see it get to the 15 level so once you still I start watching the 15 level right around this area then you exit the market right you see that you are going to make a little bit of profit around this area all right you are going to make a little bit of profits all right this is a scalping strategy you are not to hold for long all right you are not to hold for long it's just a scalping strategy all right with two condition and you take your entry now you see price has gotten to this area now all right now price is at the 15 level the red and the yellow are touching the 15 level now now what you do is to start looking for buy entry right now once this crossing happen you know that the price is about to reverse all right and you are expecting a buy now all right so now this indicator here is going to be the one to give you the final answer to that all right to that signal now you are waiting now you see that this green line here cross above this red one here on the indicator window to right which is our adx right you see the green line cross above that now that is the confirmation the final confirmation for you to go in now you see let me see where it crossed this is where it crossed and it broke above the yellow line here 
went back for a retest right now what what you what you should do is to mark out that area right the tip of that candlestick right you mark it out now once you have marked it out the next thing you want to see a breakout of that structure right you need to see a break of structure now price downs a little bit below this area here and then it finally break above with a long candlestick you can see this green long candlestick here and close right now this is where you took your entry this is where you took your buy entry immediately that candlestick close is where you took your entry and the required area just like i explained earlier is going to the place you are supposed to place your stop loss is going to be around this area and you are supposed to give it a space to breathe right you place your stop loss below this area now once you have placed your your buy you are going to hold you hold till you, you see this red signal line gets to this area right now you see this is the area it gets to that area all right so you exit around this area here right as simple as that like i said this is a scalping strategy you don't need to hold for long you don't have any reason to hold you just want to go into the market take your money and then get out right that's what we scalp out do right we don't need to stay in the market to impress anybody right just go in get out right now you see you see how the strategy is working if you follow everything accordingly you are going to be making a lot of money with this strategy right one more example and we are done with this video now this is where it touches the overbought level our 85 level here right your signal is being given here now you want this to give you another signal another confirmation before you go in let's wait this is where it's cross on the indicator window too now this is you can see the candlestick the green line cross below the red here around this area right but here on the main chart it has not yet crossed so you are going to wait for that crossing below it right now this is where it crossed below it right so let's mark that area around this place you can see it crossed below this is what this was the break this was where it crossed and then it went back for a retest right now you mark that area right now this is where it's now broke below this is where the candlestick broke below it around this area now that is where you take your entry from your sell entry and your stop loss is supposed to be above this area here right above this area now you are holding to this red signal line get to the overbought level which is around this area here just like you are seeing so after milking this profit you exit the market now guys i believe with this few example you understand how the strategy works okay so i think this is going to be the end for this video all right so what i want you guys to do now is to backtest the strategy make sure you backtest it very well don't take my words for it i'm not the market maker the backtest once you see that the strategy is good for you then you can decide to use it all right you can decide to use it and trade all right and make money all right it's a very good strategy that you can use to grow as little as a ten dollar account all right if you understand it and you stick to the strategy you stick to it right you don't need to move from one strategy to the other you look for a good strategy and then you stick to it look for other markets other synthetic index that this 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 particular strategy works on very well you put those um synthetic indices together those instruments you put them together and you trade only them all right you don't need to go and trade it everywhere because it's the market the strategy might work in this market and not work in the other one right that's how it is you need to understand all those stuff all right if you want to really be profitable in the forest market okay so um i think i'm beginning to talk too much now so that's it guys if you're a new viewer make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a powerful strategy like this you get notified immediately all right and don't forget to give the video a like if you know you are getting value from it all right so that's it i'll be seeing you in the next one thanks for watching silver out